Hey guys, today I wanted to just take a couple of minutes to talk about shifting on the violin. More specifically, I wanted to go over the concept of anchor fingers. Anchor fingers are incredibly important when shifting on the violin, um, specifically for bigger shifts, but for all shifts. So having an anchor finger basically just means that you always know what position your first finger is in, regardless of what note you're actually playing. So a good example of a spot where you might use an anchor finger um, is actually the beginning of the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto. So if we start in second position with our third finger, hitting that next note is kind of tricky and you don't want to be throwing a dart with your eyes closed. Um, so having an anchor finger is gonna really help to secure the note and make sure it's in tune every single time. So if taking note of where your first finger is during that shift, So that is kind of what an anchor finger is and what it is useful for. I'm gonna give a couple more examples um, just so the idea hopefully clicks. So another example of where an anchor finger could be used is say in the beginning of the Allegro of Mozart's fifth violin concerto. So, that shift to be in tune. Um, so using your first finger as your anchor, so just watch my first finger. And that way I can consistently play that note in tune every single time because I know, I know that that's, that note is where my first finger is supposed to be and it lines up my hand to be in the right place for the rest of the notes. And sometimes it also gives it that little slidey sound which sounds really nice in romantic pieces. Not in Mozart necessarily. You might be able to get away with a tiny bit of it, but mostly for romantic pieces. So I'm going to explain the idea of an anchor finger one more time uh, in a slightly different way for my more theory-brained people. So continuing with our example of Mozart's fifth violin concerto starts on an A. First finger in third position. Sometimes sliding around, hearing the interval between where your first finger, your anchor finger was, and where you want it to be, um, gets it in your muscle memory of where that finger is supposed to be. So that sounds like a major third. That's the major third that we're trying to hear. So listening to the intervals is something that is really, it's one of the things that makes an anchor finger really helpful, especially to those of us who are a little more ear trained, um, but also to people who are a little more theory based. So just to conclude, an anchor finger is basically when you use your first finger to anchor your hand in the position that you wanna be in post shift. I just wanted to quickly mention that you can also use other fingers to anchor a shift, but the first finger is really the best one to use. I use my second finger sometimes. Um, so for example, if you watch closely, I 
I know what my second finger feels like in third position. So therefore, I can definitely use it as an anchor finger, um, just because I often use my second finger in third position. My second finger is very much used to that shift. The muscle memory is already there. Therefore, I'm using that anchor to get my hand in third position to place the fourth finger. So then instead of it being like trying to kind of grab at the higher position, you know exactly where you are.